Good morning, everyone. I'm Farjana. Our project name is uh, Robo Mannequin. And this is my partner, Arivana and Rosalina. I'm sure you saw the movie called Robocop, or you heard the name of Robocop. So that's male version of robot, and my, my robot is female version of robot. It's robot plus queen, robo queen. So, a lady from a company called Global Fashion Technology Federation, she was trying to get a robot that can move and talk. So she went to Japan to buy a robot which was more expensive, like $3,000 per robot. Um, and those companies said they need to hire, I mean, uh, um, they need to hire engineer in order to program or in order to run those robot, which was more expensive than buying a robot. So she came back and she came to us. So we built a robot, which is a very low cost robot. As you can see the robot, that's the model of the robot. So we built uh, our robot from very low cost material and components called um, Raspberry Pi, Arduino, servo motor, RPI camera, Cardboard. It's like 3D model. We use 3D printer to take the print out of the 3D body. And we use LED for the lip and eyes. Um, so uh, um, you, might, you might take linear algebra for your major. Uh, the students who is doing like computer science or computer engineering or math, they need to take some uh, linear algebra for math classes. So we use linear algebra for the movement of the arm and the head part. We use Python also for the movement. Uh, and for the speaking part, we uh, use software called ESP uh, in order to make uh, that robot so that it can interact and talk to you. Like if you go to some store called Macy's or JCPenney, you always see the static robot. It doesn't move or it doesn't talk. So our goal was to get a robot it can interact with the customer and it, um, uh, then we can display our brand name clothes and brand name jewelries uh, to the customer. Uh, sometimes the customer they have question what was the price of the product so the robot can actually talk with them and tell them the price oh this is $30 uh, this dress is $30 or this jewelry costs like $5 something like that so that's the plan of the, our project like is the real implementation of ed education and then um, for the fashion industry for the low cost robot so my partner she will explain the hardware part Interactive Robotic Mannequin prototype was designed and developed low cost open source hardware and software uh, with an emphasis on using readily available off the shelf construction material and hardware devices. So our, our block diagram is um, this the main component is Raspberry Pi that connects motor controller that uh, control eight motors, two in the neck, and three in each arm. It also uh, connects to our amplifier that uh, uh, output the sound into speakers. And um, we also use RGB uh, LED lights for the eyes that can change the color. And um, uh, LED that for the mouth, the same for the audio amplifier, so it's uh, changed on the sound. But we also not, we're not planning to use a robotic mannequin as, uh, in the fashion industry, but we're also planning to introduce it in other areas of the study and further research such as the social robotics research projects, uh, mobile device, device control programming, 3D physical modeling and design, wireless networking. We're also planning to implement it in a way that uh, it's gonna allow to the customers to interact with the robotic mannequin by uh, using a web-based uh, user interface uh, through um, through the smartphone wireless connectivity, 
We're also planning to implement it, uh, red, green, and blue LEDs that, it we're gonna, that it's going to be synchronized with the speech of the robotic mannequin. Uh, and it also it's going to be used in another areas of the study in computer engineering programming courses because it, the robotic mannequin is designed and it's implemented some uh, different software tools and computer hardware in the working communication. So it can be used to teach this topic in computer programming courses. Thank you so much and we're open to any questions. So you said that first robot um, costs a lot of money. So how much did you find that this implementation ended up costing? Was it significant? And also in the fashion industry, and we can where you can display your clothes and stuff like that. 